Hey, Supers, I'm Hermit Cole, and so free, looking back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Episode. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say the episode number, so I don't know. Now, in the last couple of episodes, I started doing this region. We, uh. began. a, uh, certain. Hold on, where is it? Ruins? No, where's. That's... Oh, right, this is it. I did take a picture of the stall horse, but we forgot to finish up the quest. And of course we have this for the Leviathan. Believe it or not, we're, all, we're gonna be taking a picture of another Leviathan very soon. So, we're heading this way. And we're about to do an amiibo actually, I couldn't have done it before the episode because I wasn't on a flat area. We're gonna do it over here. Whee! Okay, I also have something I wanna say. There is a possibility in the upcoming weeks of me not uh, uploading any videos for a week or two. In case you're wondering why, it's because we are having here in the UK. We're having really hot weathers. Royal Shield, not bad. And uh, if any of you actually know me, I think I have said this in the past before that I don't handle hot weathers that well. Okay, so I've got these things. Do I have a sledge? I don't. I could just bomb him. I can bomb him! And they still got me in death. <laughs> yeah, I don't deal with hot weathers that well. And uh, we've had a hot, we've had hot, nothing but hot weather for like two weeks now. We actually had a lightning storm for our day, which was actually kind of cool, as you could say. Boom! Uh, woke me up at eight o'clock in the morning. When trust me, when I say that is super early for me. Um, I think what I'm looking for is actually down here. Oh wait. Oh, I know what that is. Hi. Whoa. Wait, where the hell did that, that snowball come from? Uh, that's not what I want. So yeah, because of the hot weathers, I won't be able to record, record as often as I would want to. So... Don't be surprised if I uh, end up not recording, well, unable to get a video, uh, videos out in one of the weeks or two. Because the heat makes me sick, gives me migraines. It basically does everything you feel in a cold, but without actually having a cold. <laughs> so yeah, bad times uh, in some ways. Now, where am I looking for? There's an entrance to a cave. It's not down there. Is it up here? <coughs> I'm hoping in these next two episodes we can finish up this region, but I can't do that if I don't find the way in. Good. You're, uh, you are an icy one. I know there's a way in around here somewhere. Um... Yeah, the Korok seed you can see that I've marked right near us, that's actually inside. Actually, hold on. That Korok seed starts towards the very end. Then maybe I'm on the wrong side. Oh, I didn't think of it like that. The entrance might be over this way. The entrance then, that's uh, climbing the mountain. Ah. <laughs> oh, and off this recording session as well, which is May the 29th, or uh, just about 7 o'clock in uh, 7 p.m., um, there is a little fly on my TV. <laughs> no, well, there is, but that's going on. But, uh, Pokemon is actually, well, Nintendo's actually going to be reviewing, uh, supposedly, uh, actually it's from uh, the official source, the, uh, trailer, or trailer, or an announcement for the next Pokemon game for the Switch, in, like, within the next 48 hours. So, the possibilities are there for a... Release date soon. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted my bow. Um, around here? Um, hello? Where'd you go? That was a weird. Alright then, I'm actually gonna put this here. Let's see, where would the entrance be? Let's have a little glide around here. 
I know there's an entrance somewhere. Um, let's go over here. Sorry, I just need to find this thing. Actually, this already looks a little familiar. I feel like I've been down here before. Damn it. Teleporting. Okay, guys, we might actually be in a little bit of trouble. I don't remember where the entrance is to this cave. So I think I'm just going to cut from here and uh, try to find it. So I bring you guys back in once I actually find it. So, um, yeah, beep. Hold on, guys. We're not that far away. We're over here. I just remembered what this area is. This area is actually an entrance to the shrine. Oh, crap. <sighs> Dog's yapping. Hold on. Okay, I don't think there's anything I can do about my dog, sorry. Okay, I think this is actually the entrance right here to the cave I'm looking for. Because what we have to do is what we did in one of the earlier areas is to roll a snowball. But we have to actually roll it down here. So we gotta do that. You can see the door is right there. Which I'm absolutely confident is the entrance. So we gotta get up here. Oh god, I'm starting to get warmer and we've only been recording for not even 10 minutes yet. Oh boy. Okay, um, I'll roll this off over here, I do believe. That should do it. <coughs> Boom! <coughs> Hit the jackpot, that is it. Right then. Yeah, sorry I didn't mark that on the map very well, so just think of it this way. Where this peak is here, you zoom in, you'll see this little patch of water right here. Basically, it looks like this. Dog's still yapping, but as I said, I don't know what I can do about him. He's being stupid. I'm afraid we're all just going to have to put up with him. Now, does that look familiar? The Leviathan Ice Cave. I'd like to know how in the world it got in here. And again, these are... this is ice. Maybe it froze around it. Probably. Oh god damn, the dog is going crazier again. I'm gonna pause here. Hold on guys, I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. But guess what? It's been almost an hour since my last skirt, since I cut, since that cut. Well, for me, for you guys, it was like a few seconds. Or like a second. Oh yeah, that took a while. Uh, I've even completely forgot what I was talking about. It might be about the Pokemon Switch thing. But... Eh, uh, I don't know anymore, guys. I've lost all seasons! Um... I'll just drop anything for now. I don't really want this Royal Claymore. By the way, this is actually episode 67. You guys already knew that before me, uh, from the actual episode, because, well, you saw the title. I didn't. <laughs> Did that shrine done? Uh, did, we did take a picture of... Yeah, we did. Good. With that shrine done, all we'll have to do down here is get the Korok seed. You can see right there. It's one of those flowers! Just got to go. Okay, I'm swimming. Oh yeah, that's right. We're almost done with uh, stamina. Just one more uh, upgrade, aka three more spirit orbs, and we will be completely done with stamina. Then I can just then just focus on health, which is very good. All right, flower. Oh, I see you. Get away from me, will ya? Uh. I will say this much: I actually am really looking forward to the next Pokemon game, but. 
this announcement that's going to be happening uh, soon, hopefully, <laughs> um, it's actually the only thing I'm actually I'm gonna look I'm gonna watch. Yeah, it's gonna be the only thing I watch. Barbosa's fury is ready. Otherwise, Barbosa will be very furious at me. Dogs yapping again. Because I kind of want to play the game. Fuck. I kind of want to play the game as blind as possible. So what I want to do is just see the intro. Well, basically the very first trailer that Nintendo announces for the uh, game. Who knows, maybe they might even uh, release a release date as well with the first trailer. You never know, Nintendo can be finicky like that. They are notorious for clever hidden hints. They've been doing that all of the entire time through the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I guess we'll go this way, grab these. Yeah, we'll, I'll, actually, I'll grab this, put a teleporter, go this way, teleport, grab these two. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there's, a, if there's actually a release date with this one. If not, it'll probably be the next, but I won't know. I will probably wait, see a tr uh I might just watch trailers until they announce a release date or something like that. I ain't sure, but I'm thinking I will just watch the very first trailer thing that they post up, saying like, new game, showing us like a few new little things, blah blah blah. Then I will stop watching it entirely and wait until the game comes out. Whee! So I can play the game as blind as possible, but to be honest, how blind can you really get with a game? That is a uh, new revamp of the first generation of basically Pokemon Yellow. Because it's Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And uh, it's basically supposed to be Kanto again, but I think it's going to be inc incredibly different compared to the Kanto we know from the original games and also from Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and Gold, Silver, and Crystal. So something tells me it's not going to be the same as those in the slightest. There might be a few similarities to the original games, but not much. So we'll find out in a couple of months. <laughs> oh, it's one of these, is it? Uh, I guess this bar will do. Bob. So you know as well, I'm still waiting on the, uh, should I do Heroes Mode on Twilight? Wait, what the f- You know what, I'll just put it here. Heroes Mode on Twilight Princess on YouTube, or should I not bother? And just play it on my own. I'm still I'm still on the waiting end of that, because I said I was going to wait a month. Hasn't been a month yet. In fact, that episode hasn't even gone up yet. <laughs> Almost. It's just a couple of episodes away, and it will be up. In fact, it might be this week that I'm uh, recording this one. Find out soon enough, I guess. Okay, this Korok seed should be down there. Yep, we can already see the circle of rocks. It's a target! A target with the rock in the middle. Where did these random snowballs come from? Wait, that worked? Okay, easy enough. Teleporting! Alright. Not gonna lie to you guys, I am actually getting a little bit tired. These hot days are really wearing me out. But, I will try to push. On. The dog is at it again! Cut! And we're back. Uh, down here? Oh, wait a minute. Hey, hot spring! I remember this one. You go down here, go to this, and it's through here. Whee! Ow! Guess you can say I really blew myself on that one. <laughs> Yay! 
splish. Ah, uh, there it is. We are literally almost done with this region and I am really happy about that. As I've said before, this is my least favorite region. Yeah, well, to basically travel around. It's, a, it's aesthetically pleasing, I'll give it that. I do like it. What the? Wait, what the? What the fuck? Ah! And it just slipped. <laughs> what the hell is this? It's sticking out. Ow. Thumbnail. Okay, I got my thumbnail. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That caught me off guard. What? I've never seen that before. Getting health back. There we go, fully charged. Uh, yeah, I do believe this is up. Whee! Yep, right there. Alright, should be this tree. Why this tree? Because it's that. What? Because it stands out compared to the others. Yep. Bada boom. Ding ding ding. Okay then. That Korok's you don't on out of the way. I shall grab the tree again. No, we're going this way. Because I believe I can glad. I believe I'm going to die. We'll just put some more poop on my hands. Uh oh, we got a monster territory here. A campsite. Uh, where are we? Okay. Um, I guess I'll grab this one, grab this one, teleport over here, grab these ones, then head over that way. No! You'll see nothing! You'll see nothing! Uh, hasty! Eh. Get away from me! Okay, good. We got away from them. Crusher! Aw, oh, the pain. I do not care. <laughs> I don't care. You try to kill me, I kill you, fool. Wait, where am I? Oh! We're actually supposed to be going down here. I didn't notice that. Whoopsie! Uh, the Coblins on horses, of course. On horses, of courses. Okay, we got this one again. Uh, oh, no, it's not that. It's a rock puzzle. That's not a rock. Um, there's a rock. I already see where it goes. Easy enough. Not a very challenging puzzle there, game. Do 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 bada bing! Another Korok down. Who knows how many more to go? Well, it's about 400 and something. Actually, no, I think it's less than that. Get away from me, running for my life, I don't want to screech. Oh yeah, by the way, that's actually something I could talk about. Um, you guys hear that, uh, I don't know which, uh, I don't know who made it. I think it's a team or whatnot, but they've, uh, somebody made it, so it's possible to play as Zelda in uh, the Breath of the Wild at the start. They even give her a, a whole model as well, which is actually really cool. Said that it is a mod, so I don't know if you can actually like get that on a console without hacking it. And I'm afraid I'm no hacker. I don't like hacking my games in any way, shape or form. It for one, it can actually it can break the game. And uh two, I've just never been the biggest fan of it. Sure, some people say, oh, you're cheating, uh, you got no way to prove that you're not. 
yeah, there's a lot of ways in that, especially these days, how hacking doesn't really become as visible as back in the old days with the Game Boy Colors and the Game Boy Advances with the Game Sharks. I can give you one example of this as well. On my old channel, Kakarot Fusion, I was doing a quick test video for a camera that I bought, which is actually the camera I still have today. Um, and uh, I was test, rec test recording it on... Um, Pokemon Soul Silver, and f I kid you not, I found a wild, random, shiny Stantler first encounter as I was just testing it. I wasn't even trying to do anything. I was just gonna go into a f about two or three battles. Then I was just gonna like uh, test the bleh, test the well check check the recording was the test. I was going to check the footage, see if everything came out right, sound, uh, see if it looked decent enough. Because well, this is a this was basically just a recording camera, basically that you hold and press the button. Kind of like a camcorder, but not exactly a camcorder. Either way, yeah, I found a wild, random, shiny Stantler. It was completely 100% legit. Except all I I only ever got like one nice comment saying congrats and stuff like that. That was some hell good luck. But after that, I got like 20 comments of people saying, "Oh, you're a hacker. You're cheating. You can like do all that by just pressing a button." Crap like that. Oh crap! Gotta switch my armor. Yeah. So I ended up deleting a lot of the comments on that uh, video, except the good one. But. Yes, shinies that appear like that, I don't really show them off anymore. I keep that to myself. I still have. What the heck? Again? Oh man, this fox just sounds like it's suffering so much. What is going on? Is this game break day? I'll put you out of your misery. Wait. Oh, huh, the game must have fixed itself. Yay! He's been saved, I think. Uh, that happened again? I've never done that. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, note to self. Be careful when you post videos of like very first encounters unless you've got some kind of proof, I guess, of, uh, of the shiny being legit. Believe it or not, guys, we're at 502. Oh, for the love of. 502 Korok seeds. Uh, this is gonna take a minute, so I'll cut this out. Ugh, that gets me out. Problem is, though, there's no point breaking that ice because it's just gonna reform again. So I I just tend not to. Rivali's game is now ready. ready. Thanks, Rivali. Wait, the wind. Doesn't that normally mean dragon? Guess not. Always. Uh, there you are. Korok! <laughs> but yeah, um, even though I did that uh, like note to self thing for the uh, sh the shiny thing. One thing is I did, I forgot to mention as well for that shiny video is that somebody actually thought I practiced my reaction. That my reaction apparently was so fake that I was just practicing it to happen. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? I, that is just sad. I mean, seriously, who in their right mind actually practice having a shocked expression of a shiny Pokemon when, they use a, when they're using a game cheat? Who does that? I'll tell you who. People who just don't give a damn and just will do anything for views. I'm not one of those people. I swear. I won't deny that I have used a cheating device before in my life. This was back when I was younger and when Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow we actually did have a game shark, but we never bought it. I don't remember where we got it. I think it was one of my brother's friends. But basically, it was just back then. I was just messing around with the cheats and everything. To be honest, you don't even 
don't even need to use cheats in the actual game itself to get as many items as you want. There's the Missingo glitch. Or is it missing no? It's missing no. Yeah, the missing no glitch for infinite items in that game, so you don't even need to cheat. <laughs> you could actually say glitching is cheating, but meh. But yeah, that was pretty much it, really. That's my only experience ever with a cheating device. Back when I was, like, probably eight or nine years old, back in Pokemon Yellow, Blue, and Red. That's it. Ever since then, I found cheating boring, because it just hands you everything on a silver platter. Where's the fun? There is no fun in cheating. There's no cheating. Whoa! Hello! And that there, guys, is our first example of a side quest that we are not getting into this episode. I'm actually going to end it off right here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. In the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we are going to be exploring that and maybe also doing the others before uh, uh, for that episode because why the hell not? So I hope you See you next time. Bye bye. I forgot all about this being that spot.